Welcome to the Table Rant. I'm Chris. As you can see, I'm by myself. Uh, Mia's not here to do our weekly power review. Um, she felt like it was more important to go on vacation than to uh, stay here and do a power review with me today. So, uh, I guess it's just me. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I hope, she, I hope she has a good time on vacation. But, uh, on to the matter at hand. Uh, finally, we get an episode of Power where we're getting to see some action coming. It's uh, been a long last, I don't know, two or three weeks where it was kind of just dead. Uh, so we're going to start here. We'll start with Ghost. Ghost is definitely spiraling out of control. Uh, he's lashing out. Uh, and rightfully so. I mean, he did, he did just lose his daughter. But uh, he's being too emotional and that's getting into the way of handling his business. Um, whether it comes to uh, dealing with Tommy and Kanan or dealing with his wife. Um, Ultimately, Ghost is lacking focus, and um, a lot of that is coming across uh, across the board with uh, his business dealings. Now, um, so him lashing out has now caused Tasha to, um, I guess, ultimately decide she wants to leave. I'm confused though because she's been saying she wanted to leave uh, for the last few seasons. I feel like, and uh, fine, bye. Go with that. This Terry character, I can't stand him. He's a fucking cuck. Uh, but uh, so she is fed up, and I, and I understand why she's fed up. Ghost is, uh, I mean, if I could put a word on it, Ghost is just, uh, I, I don't, I, there's not a word I can think of that would really describe how Ghost has been um, in, the, in the last few episodes. Um, now, another big thing in this episode was uh, Ghost's former lawyer, Proctor, uh, Joe Proctor. He, uh, a lot is going on. He's trying to get, get uh, come back from being disbarred or prevent from being disbarred. Uh, we're seeing the dynamic that his daughter, he wants to keep his daughter in his life, and um, his baby mama has come back. Uh, she says she's clean from drugs. We don't know if she will or not, won't be, but she says she makes mention that she's going to fight for custody of his daughter. And... I think that when it comes to Joe Proctor, um, his main goal going on for the rest of the season is not only to keep his job, but he wants to keep his daughter. And John Mott is playing off of that because he's trying to use him and get under his skin to ultimately shut down Ghost or Tommy or and Angela. Um, and I think we're starting to see some strings unravel with Joe um, because he's going to crack. They actually raided his house, um, searched his house, I should say, for evidence that he killed, uh, I can't think of the guy's name right now. I'm horrible with names. As you can see, for the last few episodes, I'm just terrible with names. But uh, he, was the, uh, he was the guy he was using last season to get information. Um, and Tommy uh, creeped up behind him and stabbed him in the chest. So... I think Proctor, and he had a big, he actually had a big role in this episode. I think Proctor is starting to realize that uh, Ghost in Tommy's BS is now cause, is coming to his front door, and he's gonna ultimately probably rat, not necessarily rat, but he's gonna cover himself before he worries about them two, especially because they're not his clients anymore, um, considering that he is you know, facing, facing disbarment. Um, so, speaking of rat, we actually found out Tommy's father's motivation. Um, we actually, last episode, we kind of, we kind of guessed what he was trying to do. And I'm still, I'm still holding on to the hope that he's not going to rat on Tommy. I'm holding on to the hope that he's just telling John Mock that he's going to rat on Tommy because he wants to spend time with his wife. And, we found out that he made a deal with John Mock to give information up on Ghost and Tommy uh, in order for him to get out. Uh, he explained that to his wife, who is upset that he's ratted. You can tell that she is kind of heartbroken that, you, that yeah, you did do what you have to do to get out, but in this world, we don't rat, especially on someone that's our family member. So I think his wife is shaken by that and um, will probably give Tommy some information on his father. But I am mean, still holding on to hope that he's not going to actually rat 
but it's not looking too good. Um, so, and that brings us to Tommy. Tommy, uh, he does still have to pay off the, the servings. Um, he owes for uh, the, the, the debt, he owes them debt, the, the debt due to the fact that the uh, cartel shut down some of their business. So he's still working on that and um, he's kind of bringing the Italians into his life a little bit further more. Uh, I don't know if they're going to actually help him with this this deal. Uh, it's looking like they probably will because he's going to have he's going to he's going to let his father in. We know he's going to do it. Uh, Tommy is quick to just let people in. And, that, and we saw that with Holly. We saw that with uh, uh, with uh, uh, his mom, we, we, we just see how quick Tommy, you can pull at his heartstrings and Tommy will, will crack. Um, but, we'll see where Tommy goes further from there. Um, so, let's see, that's the big three. We talked about Tasha, we talked about Ghost, we talked about Tommy, and we talked about Proctor. Uh, now, this is kind of the funniest part to me. Um, Ghost is actually going to now have to work with Dre. Who, as you know from previous episodes, you know I hate Dre. I hope he dies. I hope him the worst. But due to the fact that Ghost is unraveling, um, Councilman Tate has now brought in Dre as another partner um, to help with their QCP. And I think Ghost is starting to see that because he is so sloppy, it is now affecting business. But... I also am noticing that Ghost is not blaming himself just yet. He is blaming Tasha for not doing something. He's blaming uh, Councilman Tate. I'm not necessarily blaming him, but the way he looked at Councilman Tate when he brought in Dre, it was like, how dare you do this to me? But ultimately, you're doing it to yourself. And, I, and kind of is making me want to wish for Ghost to actually have his downfall. Uh, they're doing a very good job of making us hate Ghost. Even though he's the main character, you're not supposed to hate him. The way he is right now, a lot of the the parts around him are not as sturdy as they could be. And he has been the rock for so long, and the fact that he's unraveling is now affecting business elsewhere. And I think Ghost, as a character, is smart enough to realize that it's on him, but... Because his daughter has passed away, his judgment is clouded. So hopefully he gets back to where he needs to be. But he's been drinking more. He's been lashing out, as I said before. And it's just ultimately not looking too good for Ghost. Um, so now it's funny that he has to work with Dre again. Uh, the guy who had a hand in his daughter dying, had a hand in turning his son into a piece of shit. Um, who I am so glad is not on the show anymore right now. Uh, I can't stand his son's punk ass Tyreek. Um, as you know, this is Taylor Rant. I will rant. Um, Tyreek, the show is ultimately better when you're not there. Period. I have to notice you were you weren't on this episode. This episode picked up. So fuck you, Tyreek. Um, I don't know if you were filming amateur for this. As you know, he put, he's in a Netflix movie called Amateur, where he was also kind of annoying, bratty piece of shit. Uh, but I'm glad you went off and filmed that movie, so you're not fucking around with power. Um, I don't know your name in real life. I, 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 I actually do know your name. Your name is Michael Rainey something, Jr. or some shit. But I know you as Tyreek, and you're a fuck nigga as uh, Tyreek. You are a fuck nigga on Amateur. You are a fuck nigga on Barbershop 3. I'm starting to think you're a fuck nigga in real life. But, you know, I digress. So, uh, Angela. Yes, Angela finally was able to track down the cartel, finally able to corner them and arrest the cartel. But what do you know? As we said last week, uh, the man she was sleeping with, the man that works in the D.C. office, shut it down. Now, we did guess that he was going to be part of the cartel. It does not look like he was part of the cartel. But he definitely played Angela. Um, she doesn't want to hear the fact that he's still he's still thinking about her or whatever whatever um and he made some mention that it was he had to shut them down due to the fact that his boss told him to do it she's not believing it um i'm kind of believing i'm kind of not believing it I, but we definitely know that angela got played again uh because 
she is thinking with her vagina, then I think with her head. And that got her caught up again. Um, so between her and girls thinking with their private parts, I think ultimately they're perfect for each other. And we saw that at the end of the episode. Uh, Angela finally texts Ghost back, telling him he wants to meet, or calls Ghost back, telling him he wants to meet. Uh, she wants to meet, and they meet. They both ask, were they good? They both kind of just like, shook their head no. It's like, nah, I'm not good. Uh, and uh, the waitress asked them what do they want, uh, meaning like what, are they, what their food f order would be, and they looked just stared at each other, which tells me that they clearly want each other. And I hope y'all both the worst. I hope that y'all do get together, and I hope Angela loses her job and uh, Ghost loses uh, uh, the club. I hope I hope y'all the worst because y'all are awful together. Um, Ghost, you have lost your wife. You have lost your kids. You have seen a child die. Um, you're, you've lost your club. You've lost your business. Angela, you're close to losing your job because of Ghost. At some point, you gotta realize this bitch is in, uh, is 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 toxic, or you gotta realize this nigga is toxic. Something here. Y'all are fucking retarded. Uh, and I hate to say the word retarded, but y'all, there's no other word to describe. How dumb y'all look trying to get back to each other. I know y'all love each other. Uh, we all had that one person that we grew up with and fell in love with and would do any for or anything for. Whatever bullshit you want to say. But you got to let them people go. That It is toxic for Ghost and Angela to be together because he's a criminal, she's a cop. It just does not work. Olive, oil and vinegar do not mix. And they're definitely oil and vinegar. Um, and it's not no opposite tracks bullshit. This is not smart. Give up on her. She is not good for you. Um, and he's not good for you. Um, so. I think that pretty much wraps up this episode. Um, this episode was a lot more action. And t oh, Kanan. Kanan. Uh, Kanan is still working in the background. Still showing that he's the smartest person on the show. Uh, Kanan actually set up Tommy to get shot at with blanks. I will say with blanks. Uh, the guys he hired to shoot him up did not use blanks. I guess they were feeling like they were going to be safe with the blanks. Uh, and it uh, backfired on them because uh, Kanan pulls up, kills both of them. Uh, now he looks like a hero. Um, now the reason he had him had them shoot at Tommy was to basically kind of kind of throw the Italians off, make to make Tommy almost toxic to the Italians, uh, make him seem like oh if you use Tommy he's gonna fuck up our business. Um, that's some a plan that him and Ghost had at the beginning of the episode. Uh, where they want to get him away from the Italians, but they don't want him to kill anybody, and he don't want they don't want him to get, get him killed. So the best way to do that is to just make Tommy too dangerous for them. Um, so that was the plan there. Kanan, uh, to his credit, he definitely didn't want them to get put them into any danger. He wanted them to just kind of have the the illusion that they were in danger, but uh, the guys he hired didn't work out. Um, so that's pretty much this episode. I'm trying to think. I just watched it, but I'm trying to think if there's anything big you'll need to know uh, in case uh, I forgot something. Please let me know in the comments. It's really weird doing this by myself. I'm not going to lie. I need a partner for this. Um, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Uh, I definitely am talking to myself. I'm by myself. I have on uh, my shirt and uh, jacket, but I have on no bottoms, which is, I mean, pretty lovely. It's a nice, nice breeze in here. But, let us know what you thought about Power Episode 4. Um, leave a comment down below. As you know, I do enjoy the negative comments because they're funny to me. Um, you can't get under our skin. Uh, if you try to troll us, it, it won't work because I'll just troll you back. Uh, plus, you know, this internet's not real life. And uh, that's yeah, that's power. Uh, episode four.